G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my two $1 collection books already partly filled with the commemorative coins we found so far, including the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two book, which I'm trying to fill for the first time uh, from coins out of circulation. So I've only got six coins in that particular album in the main album of the commemoratives i've got everything apart from one coin including the changeover coin i'm only missing the 100 years of uh, Qantas, the Qantas centenary and then I'll, the book will be finished and i'll be able to move on to a new book and start all fresh all over again so as you're probably aware the standard size kind of one dollar is the mob of ruse or what we call the mob of ruse and i'll be going through all the coins at the end just looking for coins from years where they're low minted or uh, have errors so what i'll be going through mostly is just the coins on the reverses showing you the commemoratives like this one the apec australia from 2007 i'll be laying it down get a bit close i'll be laying it down and then uh, moving on after that there's the next one the outback year of the outback from 2002 and then i'll just be going on from there we have another one uh the 1988 the bicentennial celebration coin 1988 So, we'll crack on, looking for more coins, hope everyone is well, and doing okay, I'm doing particularly well, feeling it today, it's good, Centenary of Scouting from 2008, Centenary of Scouting in Australia, 2008, and then we have uh, 1999, International Year of Older Persons, 1999, and you would have seen for that was followed by a green centered donation dollar uh, give to help others on the front on the obverse Jody Clark effigy with the denomination in 2020 it's a nice one and then we keep going and then we have the first roll excellent so, when I do go through the mob of brews later on, I'll be looking for years where there was no $1 issued, being uh, 1987, 89, 1990, 91, 2007, and 2012. So we have here in Dancing Man, uh, into, uh, end of World War II, 60th anniversary, the Peace Coin, 2005, with a significant scratch or cut mark on the back of it, because it was an ender. And then we have a Centenary Federation, which we always check for rotation errors, although we haven't found one yet. And then a 2000 and, oops, 2000, sorry, a 1996 uh, Father of Federation, Henry Parks, Sir Henry Parks. And then another donation dollar. We can tell that from the fact that it's got one dollar on the obverse. So that's two in a hunt, which is the first time I've had that. Two in a hunt, actually. Um, coming out more prevalent. Another APEC Australia coin. 2011. Another Parks coin. A... 100 years of Anzac in 2014, the most highly minted centenary of Anzac for the five years that they were minted from 2014 to 2018. Another centenary of Federation with an opportunity to check for rotation. No. And then what looks like another donation dollar, yes. Third one for the hunt. Parks, Outback, 
2010 Centenary of Girl Guiding in Australia. Girl Guides Australia 2010. Very nice. So now that we're cracked into the three rolls in and we've uh, given a decent amount of um, sorry, got distracted. Decent amount of uh, commemorative coins. I'll speed things up as we go along, but this is a 2021 coin, which is fantastically a Great Aussie Coin Hunt coin queue for the Queen Victoria market. Now, for those of you who don't know um, Australia or indeed Melbourne very well, the Queen Victoria market is located in Melbourne. Um, funnily enough, uh, in uh, not in Queen Street, but uh, close to uh, what was Queensbury Street. Uh, it's been there for a very long time, so over 150 years. It's uh, one of the longest markets in Australia, certainly in Melbourne. It's a huge market. It's a fresh food market, fresh, fresh food, fresh vegetables, fresh meats, fishes, uh, one of the largest markets in Melbourne. Um, and it has, uh, it runs, I think it's four, five days a week uh, out of seven. And it's historical because it is so old and it's, uh, it's a sort of outside covered market. So it's very nice. But that, uh, I believe, will be one of uh, a coin for the um, Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2 book. So we keep going. It's another dancing man. And as I was almost about to say, we might speed things up um, so that we can uh, get through. So we've got another Centenary of Anzac, another 2014, another Scouts. If I'm not talking, that is. If I can get through what needs to be said. Because there's a new coin for today. The Centenary of Suffrage from... 2003 women centenary of women's suffrage sorry get that one right and we'll keep going For the first time today, we have a 1986 International Year of Peace. And here is a 100 Years of Anzac. And I'm pretty sure I saw that that was a 2016 coin. So that's one of the lower minted 100 Years of Anzac. So that'll be a keeper. That'll go down the bottom row. First time today, we have a Sir Charles Kingsford Smith from And from 2003, for the first time today, we're making a difference, Australia's volunteers.
and for the first time today we have a land care uh, coin from And for the first time today, we have the International Year of Volunteers from 2001. And now all of a sudden we are on the last roll without having seen the Centenary of Qantas coin without too many great Aussie coin hunt coins. Only one from the second series. See if we can find anything in the last few coins. Nothing of any particular note. And there we have it. So, really, there's a couple of uh, 2016 100 years of Anzac that'll go into the collection, which is quite nice. And then we have the queue for the Queen Victoria market from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two. It's, it's a very busy coin. I wonder if there's, the light that I have is too harsh. I need a softer light to give you a good indication of the detail there, but it's basically, it has a queue on it, it has a bag of groceries, and it's got the facade with an arch coming around here for the building that is the Queen Victoria Market. Quite iconic, but not particularly well known. So I'll pull out the Making a Difference, which I always pull out because it's a relatively low minted. There's a big shout out to the donation dollar. There's four of those. They'll go back into, not necessarily circulation, I'll pull them out and put them into the charity buckets that I, that I put those into. 
the rest uh, I'll clean off all of those now and uh, go through the rest of the mob and ruse and see if there's any, anything of any note, any errors or anything from low minted years or something like that but uh, please bear with me as I finish off, I'll be back very shortly well I'm back again, thank you very much for waiting uh, nothing of any particular note unfortunately in the uh, mob of ruse I was looking through them for quite some time actually uh, it was quite good I uh, haven't found any rabbit ears errors for a very long time and I just wanted to make sure that I was uh, looking hard enough but they are hard to come by some noodlers find them quite often uh, some people find them all the time uh, but I don't find very many of them unfortunately but they are there to be found however something that is uh, very exciting is the fact that the queue that I found for the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two is uh, new for the book. So I'll move these out of the way and I will move the Great Aussie Coin Hunt book number two and there we'll see the queue there is empty. So we will put the queue for Queen Victoria Market into the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two book. So now we have seven coins in there, uh, and I'm happy about that. Anything new for the book, uh, or any of my books, or collection, is uh, great fun. So thank you very much for watching. Please, if you like what I do, think about subscribing and pressing that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me comments about how you think I go about my noodling, and if you are a coin collector, how you go about your noodling. Uh, I will be back in a couple of days with another noodle for more coins, so I'll see you then. Bye.